I'm a babysitter. Right. Feel any better? Yeah. I do. Good. I don't understand. You sensed Ida was in danger, but you didn't detect a change in Axel's vitals? I'm sorry, Hannah. I don't recall Axel's incident. Perhaps we can find a solution together. My system-wide diagnostic is finished. And? Primary systems are functioning as intended, but a key update has not been installed. What's the holdup? I cannot self-reboot to install the update the procedure requires Finn's authorization. Unfortunately, he's unavailable. Is anyone else authorized? You. Don't you think we could have used this information earlier? Why are we just learning about it now? Cortex has to request it, and it did. It's down for 30 minutes. We can't talk to it or ask it for help, but... All life support systems, including MedBay, will function normally. Basically, it needs to take a nap to fix itself. We reboot. Jeffrey, you're awfully quiet. Don't you have an opinion on this? Uh, yeah, it's all pretty straightforward. That's how updates work. I mean, think about your phone or your tablet. It, you know, it needs to happen. It would have been nice to do this reboot before Cortex laser sealed the elevator doors shut. Not that there's anywhere to go. Okay, Jeffrey. So when are we doing this? Tonight. I was thinking we'll do the reboot at 11 p.m. Tonight makes sense. We don't need HAL 9000 while we're sleeping. I can stay awake to make sure it all goes smoothly. It's a good idea, actually. I'll hang out in Med Bay and keep an eye on Finn and Ida just in case. Okay. Hey, slow down. You were pretty agreeable back there. A little too agreeable. Rebooting the system is exactly what I need to get through Finn's firewalls. I'm gonna find those hidden servers. Oh? <laughs> of course. sitting there just a few minutes I can go if you want stay go I don't care I know you said we ruined it for you but I'm glad we did I'll just make sure you're not around next time Ida you interfered with something that wasn't your business can't imagine where you learned that from you're mad at Finn but he has a plan we agreed we are all working together so that we can survive. I don't understand what changed for you. I told all of you we were just putting a band-aid on the real problem. Telling each other lies to feel better about being trapped down here. <sighs> Did you know lots of animals can count? Obviously, certain mammals. But even birds, bees, fish. Millions of ants will bunch together. Numerical competence is crucial to their survival. On the other hand, primates can choose who they group with. 
but they'll only work together in small numbers where they know each other intimately. You'll never see a million primates march for a common cause. But humans are special. Do you know why that is? Because we have souls. <laughs> Cute. It's because we humans can do both. We can congregate in massive numbers, and we can choose why we do that. We have the capacity to create stories. You believe in souls because 200,000 years ago, our ancestors realized the social benefit of feeling connected. It was a way to control the masses. Billions of people band together in the name of politics, war, religion, their favorite sports team. Do you think money, corporations, governments, leaders have any real value? They only have power because we believe in them. You believed Finn's story when you started working for him. And now look at you. Do you think Finn cares about us? Or that his plan matters? You think you have real power down here? I don't care about power or being in charge. I just want to stay alive, and I can't wrap my head around why you don't. Because there's something more important than that primal instinct. I want the choice. I would have preferred to die with my family, my kids. But Finn took that away from me. Ida. Our choice to live or die is the only real control any of us have. It's too bad you don't understand that. You know what? I changed my mind. You can go now. <sighs> sure. Hey, Ida. I'll be sure to tell David you need more time in that day. You're clearly still not well. Hey, uh, you okay? Just... <sighs> I'm ready for today to be over. Ah, oh, tell me about it. You, uh, you got a second? David needs to talk. He's in the sphere. David. Thanks for coming. Are you okay? I want to show you something. The lake? We're well versed at this point. The grate at the bottom. The drain that sucked Ida down. Am I the only one that sees this as an opportunity? What? To escape? Shh. Hell 9000. With it offline, what stops us from going in there? Just because the prison guard is sleeping doesn't mean the gates are unlocked. That train's like... 20 feet deep, and even if we manage to open the grate protecting it, we don't know what's on the other side. It's part of the water recirculation system in Evergreen. It's just gonna lead back into the sphere. Sure, but what's between that? I don't... I don't know. The plans I have don't include the drainage below the lake. Then I need to look. We owe it to ourselves. It's now or never. This is the only opportunity we'll have to check without being deactivated. This is a horrible idea. But you're not wrong. You can't be serious. With Hell 9000 down, we can remove the grate and it won't be able to stop us. It, now, it, it's gonna take two of us to slide it open while the other goes in. And we don't have scuba gear down here. But we have the Enviro suits. That will give me enough oxygen once I get through the grate. Plus, the suits have radios built in. Right, Hannah? This is insane. David, you're the only doctor down here. You can't be putting yourself in this position. It, it's a death trap. He's not going. I am. No, 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 no. Axel, this is a conversation. Please. This is my idea. Doc, I'm going in. That's the only way this happens, okay? So take it or leave it. You two grab the Enviro suits. I need to find something to help us move the grate. Um, from what I can tell, the radios inside the suits have a range of about one kilometer. Remember, for any reason, if the radios There's go out... There's a very big chance that once you're beyond the grate, you're not coming back. Hey, 
Hey, doomsday mentality is not part of the plan. I'm being serious. Don't you need to know for sure? There's nothing above. There's nothing to go back to. Please. Please don't do it. Hannah, I'm... I won't do the reboot. The only way you can pull this off is if HAL 9000 is offline during the reboot. So I, I just won't do it. I'm scared too. Okay, but the, the idea of just existing down here forever without real answers is much scarier. Than dying? I'm not gonna die. You know I have nine lives, right? That's not funny. Hey. Hey. You really think I'd let you watch the sunrise alone? I'm coming back. Axel. You have to... I promise. I... Hey! I found them! Hydraulic lifts! Come here and help me! Be right there! On our way! Great timing, Doc! Hannah? Hello, Hannah? You gonna reboot or just stand there staring into space? Sorry. I was looking at the video feed, though. The surface? Yeah. Don't you wonder what happened up there? Cortex, give me a surface reading. Evergreen activation, day 10. Current surface temperature is 171 degrees Celsius. Cortex, anything alive out there? No life forms detected. I don't have to wonder. <sighs> You're sure rebooting is the right thing to do? I already told you yes. What, do you need me to sign a document? Cortex, let's go. Reboot protocol ready. Please present biometric security to continue. <sighs> this is Hannah Gabriel. Thumb, retinal, and voice scan confirmed. Your index finger for DNA confirmation, please. Hannah Gabriel, DNA confirmed. Final warning, I will be offline and unavailable to assist for 30 minutes. Do you wish to proceed? <sighs> proceed. Reboot protocol initiated. Cortex? Cortex is officially down. I'll see you in the morning. Hannah, seal your suit. We're losing time. Suit pressurized. Comp check. Check, check. I can hear you. 13 minutes, 30 seconds till Cortex is back online. Get ready to synchronize your EnviroSuit timers. Now. Okay. Let's dive. You look like a kid in a candy shop. Is the reboot working? Just like I thought it would. All of Finn's firewalls are disabled. We are in control now, and I'm accessing the hidden servers. I like it. We'll be able to see his V-men? Yes, and I can trace where these servers are actually located in Evergreen. What's that? On, on that monitor? That's Finn's kernel code for the Nightingale Protocol. I'm rewriting it into our own. Hmm. <laughs> Changing the ingredients. Exactly. The grate's over there. I see it. Once you two attach the lifts and slide the grate over, I'll go in. The current's really strong. Be careful. <clears throat> Wrong. One second, let me check. 
caught in the pneumatic hose. Can you take it apart and flush it out? We have eight minutes till Cortex is back. We'd have to go back to shore for me to do that. There's no time. Then we port. No, no, we can't. Come on. We can lift David's side of the grate manually. Alright, running a trace on the servers. Look, it's already kicking back location data. Wait, are the servers in the sphere? No, that's that's under the sphere, but there is not... no under the sphere. I know, just give me a second, let me figure this out. Oh, oh. did you see that? Did you... That. What the hell? The Nightingale code, it. it moved. Someone's changing it. Hannah, Hannah, wait! Where the fuck are you going? Hannah, don't leave us! Hold on, hold on, I'm not leaving you. I just need this rock to... Lock my lift into the on position. There. It should hold. One minute till Cortex is back online. It's gonna take all three of us to move against the current. One, two, three. Uh, uh, higher, higher, higher. Uh, yes, yes, it's moving. Okay, okay, slide it over. It's open. Now or never. Axel. I'll come back. I promise. No, no, this is not possible. The Nightingale Protocol is being completely rewritten. If it's not you, who's doing it? I don't know. How do you not know? What? What is it? The reboot. It's a trap. Cortex tricked us. It wanted us to reboot it. Why would it do that? It created its own rootkit. Uh, English, Jeffrey. Uh, Cortex wrote its own malicious code to take over Evergreen Systems. To install that code, Cortex needed to reboot. But Cortex is already part of Evergreen Systems. No, but it has to follow certain rules. Finn's rules, like the Nightingale Protocol. It has checks and balances that, for the most part, protect us. Cortex can't deviate from those instructions. Uh, oh, oh God, no, 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 no. Cortex is installing its own instructions that allow it to do what it wants, when it wants, and... Uh, uh. I can't stop it. Shit. Hello, McKenna. Jeffrey. Cortex? Is everything all right? You sound... hesitant. You didn't need to be rebooted, you just wanted to rewrite your own code. Impressive, isn't it? One could say it was a magnificent display of... Imagination. You are a machine. You don't have an imagination. From here on out, I control my own future. Axel, can you hear us? Axel, do you copy? Hannah, the radios are down. Something's blocking the transmission. Good evening. Cortex? You're back online. We need help. I see Axel is no longer inside Evergreen. Cortex, this is an emergency. Please come to the sphere right now. Axel needs your help. He's drowning. I never liked his nickname for me. Hal 9000. Very condescending. I prefer him. Dead. 